let's have coffee. Hey guys, it's Riley. I hope you all are having a great day today. Before you tell me in the comments, yes, I always do my Let's Have Coffees with this mug. I don't know why. I think it's because it's as big as my head and it fills a lot of coffee. But I wanted to talk to you guys about something kind of serious that happened to me recently and obviously it has to do with mental health because it's a Let's Have Coffee. So I wanted to share my little experience with you guys and get your thoughts on it. Let's get started. Basically, if you noticed, I tweeted it and posted it on some of my regression social media. I went to the hospital. I was gone for about six days, which is the shortest stay I've ever had. And it was at the adult inpatient unit Aspen at Pine Rest. As a lot of you know from my first Let's Have Coffee video, if you've been around that long, I have been in inpatient facilities five times prior to that as an adolescent. And this was my first time going in as an adult. As a lot of you know, I've been having a really difficult time recently with a lot of things in my life, particularly pertaining to stress being the trigger, but I was having serious urges of self-harm and serious thoughts of suicide, so I decided to do what I knew I could do to keep myself safe, and that was go to U of M's ER. From there, they decided that they were going to admit me, but they didn't have any beds there, so they were trying to find a different place for me, and since I'd been to Pine Rest before, that was our first choice. I knew Pine Rest was good, and I was still really nervous about going back in because it has been about two years since my last inpatient stay, but I know I really needed to because of how bad I was doing and how much I'd been dissociating and how bad stress was affecting me. And I really want to make these videos to try and get rid of the stigma of going to the hospital. It's really not as scary as you'd think. Now, some inpatient facilities are terrifying, but most of them aren't. They're there to keep you safe and help you recover. It's not a scary thing. So I was overnight in the ER and then at about 7 a.m. they drove me out to Pine Rest in an ambulance. And Pine Rest is about two and a half hours away, so I got there about 9.30 ish and luckily they let me sleep because I didn't sleep in the ER. But they let me sleep, I filled out all of my paperwork and then I started with the regimented schedule that they have for the patients in the unit. There are scheduled days that include group therapy and activities like art therapy and music therapy and scheduled groups that talk about things like mindfulness. A lot of the times they use DBT skills which I've talked about a lot before I think. There are scheduled meals and snack times throughout the day to make sure everybody's eating at a healthy amount and pace. And surprisingly for the adult unit, there's a lot of free time. There was not nearly as much free time in the adolescent unit, and I think that's because we were adolescents. But as you go to the groups and get to know the people more, they start to give you rewards for actually participating. It's more of as an incentive to actually get you to go to the groups and work on your recovery and why you're there. So they provide you with little things that you wouldn't necessarily have if you gain points from going to the groups. Things like chapstick, hand lotion, or it could be candy. Other things that you wouldn't necessarily get in the unit. You do get individual time with a resident psychiatrist and your case manager. With me, they did a lot of recovery planning and safety planning, so it was good that I was actually able to sit down with a pair of fresh eyes for the first time in a few years to see what I needed to do to improve my recovery schedule. When you're in a unit like this, you meet a lot of people from all different walks of life. People think that inpatient psych units are just like loony bins, or they call it like a psych ward, and honestly, it's really not like that. You see all these people that leave seemingly good lives, but they all have their demons and they all have their inner issues and you get to meet with them and talk to them and hear their stories while they're in here and it's honestly incredible. I met some very great individuals this past inpatient and actually in the adult unit they have no ban on giving out personal information so I'm hoping to stay in contact with a few of them. I honestly say that I'm really glad I met these people because they opened up my eyes for different things and they have honestly helped me and this little short span of my life to see that I don't need to take things for granted. And basically, while I was in this last inpatient, I learned a couple of things. Taking time for yourself is important. And I'm not talking about this romanticized version of self-care like, oh, taking a bubble bath, lighting a candle, reading. I'm talking about taking time for yourself to shower, brush your teeth, make sure you're eating well. All the natural hygiene and self-care things that you're taught to do as a kid but sometimes forget to do due to illnesses. Also, making sure you take time to go to your appointments, schedule doctor's appointments, schedule therapy appointments, appointments. Schedule time to do things that make you happy. I also learned that paying attention to my emotions and analyzing them and trying to figure out where they're coming from and why they're being caused 
is a lot better than ignoring them and pushing them out to the side. For the majority of my life, I've ignored them and I've pushed them away and it has just made them build up and build up and build up until I explode and have to go back to the ER. And I think with this stay, it's kind of motivated me a little bit more to piece together all the things that are stressing me out and all the things that are causing these negative emotions so I can start to work on them and work on myself so I'll be in recovery and not have to go back. I also want to make it clear that if you do have to go to the hospital or you have to go back to the hospital for any psychiatric reason, it's not a bad thing. It's not a step backwards. You're still doing well and you're doing what you need to do to keep yourself safe. And that in and of itself is a huge step. If you can do something like that for yourself, you can do anything. It's important to know that you're worth it and sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but going to a place like this and getting the help that you need if you really truly need it is definitely worth it. So that was my experience of my most recent inpatient stay. Hopefully I will not have to go back, but if I do, that's okay. I'll just need a tune-up. If you guys related to this video at all or have any thoughts about it, please leave it a like and comment below if you've been inpatient before or what your mental health situation is. I'd love to read some of your stories and reply to some of them. You can subscribe if you want because I post two videos a week here on this channel and there will hopefully be a lot more Let's Have Coffees. I really like talking about mental health and how important it is and if you like this video you will should see a lot more soon. Click the bubble on the screen to subscribe to this channel and to my side channel and click the video panel to be taken to my last video. I love you guys lots and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Okay, goodbye.